Hiya to Bob from Larbrook. Uh, we hit watch a game line with Paul. I'm going to check the sign in a moment. That's Sunrise Popworks. Paul's well with Sunrise Popworks. Uh, yeah, think Stu's got some bloopers around that. I'm sure he won't use them at some point. But anyway, Paul makes a laser cut uh, sci-fi props. Yeah, mostly sci-fi stuff, um, props and weapons for various sci-fi games. And also some really nice, really nice heads, helmets there as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mostly use the laser cutter. Um, yep. A because I'm lazy, uh, and B yep. because it means that as I slowly build up a library of computer files, yep. I can then drag other elements to quickly make up new products. Basically. So you're ma basically mashing up components to make brand new bit, things. Yeah, I, I, it's basically it's getting more and more like that the further I go along. Um, yep. Also because it's on a laser cutter, it means like a third of the heavy lifting is done for me. Yeah. The downside is that the laser cutter is eye-wateringly expensive. Um, ah. Thankfully, it's not mine, and I basically uh, am at the, at the uh, mercy and the good, goodwill of the people at Mandala Studios, so right. Wookie and Leah, who basically let me come and live at their studio, which is good. Got you. The, so Wookie and Leah have been really helpful to you here. Super helpful, okay, yeah. yeah. I literally wouldn't let, not be able to be here without basically being able to, you know, with their goodwill and basically being able to use all their toys. Yeah. Oh, well, they did a good shout out to their studios because uh, yeah. and the stuff they do there, which is great. Yeah, and I've been looking at, at the props, and they really are, I mean, they're the kind of things think a lot of sci-fi players would like but just can't find easily it's partly that but also the other problem that sometimes we have is that um yeah, yeah. so sci-fi tends to be a little bit niche and also comes in quite a lot of flavors everything from sort of hard sci-fi some people would, would comp it with um post-apocalyptic or yep. science fantasy like your 40ks and that kind of thing yeah so and each one has a slightly different look and feel yeah so it's more difficult to come up with a generic sci-fi thing that can basically fit into multiple different genres. That's right, high fantasy almost comes as a, almost almost as an all-in-one stylized complete genre in a sense. You can certainly mix and match a lot more. You can take yeah. a, a thing from a Dark Ages non-fantasy you know, fantasy game and put it in a fantasy setting and not bat an eyelid. And it whereas, would look absolutely well, yeah. Whereas something like one of these which is clearly, clearly not um, based on a 40k type thing or at least inspired Ab by um, but my, own, my own personal by. design. <laughs> Uh, but this sort of thing wouldn't be necessarily appropriate in, say, a post-apocalyptic game where this kind of technology, this is clearly a science fantasy type thing, oh, which, which isn't yeah. the sort of thing you're going to find in like a Mad Max style genre or a, a zombie horror thing. That's right. And, and this injector here, again, it's, it's a definite feel to it as to where that comes from. It certainly wouldn't be appropriate bit. in some games. Some games, yeah. It's yeah. a bit too, too sci-fi in modern. Yeah, so. but another is perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. It's like... I've actually done quite well here today at uh, What's Your Game yep. um, because it just, I think the luck of the draw is that the people who come through have found the thing that they wanted. Even yep. some things that have sat there for like, you know, a year or something yep. and suddenly it's like, actually, that's exactly what I want and off they go with it. Whereas to begin with, this is more of a case of me showcasing what I can do and I do quite a lot of stuff through commissions, so I do a yep. lot of custom work. Um, and this is more like a, a, a way of me showing, basically showing off and saying, hey, look, I can make you a, 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 you know, a cool wobbly chainsaw you know, yeah. with like, sort of like uh, random other writing and stuff on it, at which point they can get their own custom stuff on it. That's right, in so order to actually see that, they need to be able to pick it up because with live role players, we like to do things live and yeah. pick up things. It's very visceral. How's the grip feel? How long is the grip? How, high, you know, how much does yeah. it weigh? And that kind of thing. That's right. At which point you've got, you've got basically different choices to what but you I, want. But as you say, we're looking at the different size and weights. And you're saying, yeah, like you're saying, you can customize those because of the laser cutter. Pretty much all the ones I've sold have yeah. been custom orders with yeah. their own inscriptions on them or logos and stuff. I've got to say, custom is a really nice touch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, again, laser cutting makes that section really, really easy. After all the design work's done, actually just putting a different you know, <laughs> set of words on it as long as Google Translate hasn't let me down, yep. which, you know, it can do. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, not, he's not renowned for being the greatest translation, great, great uh, Latin. Yeah. At which point you can, yeah, you can put anything on it. And, uh, and people are, I mean, I've even had non-live role players buy stuff because they want it on their wall, not necessarily yeah. because they're going to play with it, which is nice. And that's a good seller. Yeah. But most of what I do, to be honest with you, is, is a case of trying to get people to, basically, I have very little reputation. And in order yeah. to build up a reputation, I have to show people what I've got. Absolutely. They'll be able to yeah. pick it up and play with it. And then if they like something, they then come back and commission something later. Yeah, I'll probably get plenty of that going on then. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if people want to get hold of you, Paul, how can mm -hmm. they do that? Uh, I have a website, although it's a bit out of date, okay. um, called uh, sunrisepropworks.co.uk. Yeah, I also right. have a Facebook page, which is equally as out of date. Um, I am going to attempt to engage with it, Honest Governor. The yeah. trouble is that being a one-man band, it was a case of, when I'm getting busy, it's a case of engage with Facebook or build things. Yeah, and that's it's like, 
It's a, it's a, I've basically, I've gone too, too much one way. I mean, yeah. I'm starting out, still relatively new to this, and so when the jobs come up, I kind of feel that I have to do them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm quite tired at the moment because I've been doing some ridiculous hours recently at the workshop in order to um, give stuff to uh, yeah. Death and the Darkness, which I was at yesterday. So right, basically yeah. offload a load of custom work for them yeah. and other Lovely. stuff for some of the characters. So players and crew yeah. um, bought stuff from me. So yeah, you can get through to me through either email at shop at sunrisepropworks.co.uk yep. or the website Sunrise Prop Works or on Facebook. Feel free to message me. I am, you know, yeah. usually available. Sometimes it might take a little bit of time to get back to you. Sometimes it'll be the next second. Yeah. So it's like, it's a bit random to be honest with you. I think that basically sends up to Facebook to be honest. Facebook and I, and I think to a certain extent quite a few other traders because if you've got yeah. like one man band type things it's like, you know, you're, you're up to your elbows in latex or something. It's like, I'm not going to pick up my I'm phone. I'm not picking up my phone right now. Yeah, I'm not touching nothing. So uh -uh. it's like, yeah, it swings around about, I suppose. Oh, that's fair enough, Paul. Well, thank you very much. No problem. I hope the things go really well. It's really, really lovely. They appear to be going well so far. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty good.